Okay, so you've just gotten your brand new Mac and there are a few things you need to change to optimize the experience. First, you may find there's no right click by default. Simply open up system settings, either via the dock or Apple menu. If you're using a trackpad, scroll down to the trackpad and under secondary click, you need to select, click to tap using two fingers or using the right corner. Most people typically select two fingers. Now using just two fingers in your trackpad, you can right click. The same changes can be made if you're using a mouse. The next thing to do is to change your trackpad tracking speed. On the same trackpad settings under tracking speed, change this to a faster setting. Now your trackpad cursor floats more freely. Next to your dock, dock displays all your most used apps. But when you get a new Mac, it is often cluttered. Simply drag out the apps you don't need. You want to add new apps to your dock, go to the launch pad, and drag it into the dock. You can also resize the dock by selecting this divider and dragging up or down. The Finder, which is more or less the same as Explorer and Windows, displays your files and folders. But if you want to know where you are on your Mac, select View from the menu bar and select Show Path Bar. You can also show the tab and status bars. Next, if we go to Appearance, we can change the appearance of the windows. We have Light, Dark and Auto. Leaving it on the Auto setting will allow it to change depending on the day. So in the morning and afternoon, it will stay light. But in the evening, it will change to Dark mode. If we go to Displays, we can see a button for Night Shift. Night shift changes the tone of your screen. You can change this to sunset to sunrise, which adjusts the colors of the screen to a worn tone, making it easier on your eyes. If you back up your Macs all the time, this next feature is a must. If you go to general and then time machine, you can actually back up your Mac using a thumb drive. As you can see, I already have this turned on as I own a time capsule. This is great if your Mac crashes or you have a file you deleted and will like back. This has saved my butt countless times. You can add this to your menu bar and if I select browse time machine backups, I can actually go back in time see all of the files I had in my downloads folder once upon a time. Next we have wallpapers. This is a no-brainer if you want to make your Mac uniquely yours. You can select from a variety of default wallpapers. But you can also add your own by selecting add folder or album. They appear at the very bottom and you can turn on the random setting or select a wallpaper you're choosing. Personally, I love the purple wallpaper I've turned on. If we go to notifications, we can select which notifications to keep turned on or not. Having most of these turned on will affect your battery life. Of course, in the new version of Sequoia, iPhone mirroring this will also display your iPhone notifications, something which you also have to tailor. And last but not least, if you go to Network and select Firewall, you must turn on Firewall. Firewall basically protects your Mac from all the bad stuff. It will also add an extra layer of security when downloading apps from the internet. This can get malware and viruses, 
just like on any Windows machine. But even though it's rare, even when browsing the web, you're still vulnerable. So I would recommend keeping this turned on. So those are the first 10 things I do when I set up a new Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.